But Hamilton has picked up some snow. The Actually camera started to snow here where we nice. are in. Seventeen is just a mess. It was a real nightmare trying to get back down because the ice some freezes. Really on the unusual snow. meteorological conditions for us. We don't usually see in the forecast snow in the Santa Cruz Mountains. So we're at Cape Crozier to study emperor penguins. <laughs> They're great neighbors. They're really curious birds and kind of wondering what kind of weird penguin you are. <laughs> it's my first time on the ice stepping off the helicopter. I almost cried because I was so happy. <laughs> this year our goal is to instrument 32 birds. Um, we're hoping to learn where they're going, how deep they're diving, how hard they have to work to get their food. It involves a lot of logistics. So we get up in the morning, pack up our research gear, and we head out and then just catching penguins. Once we find the penguin that we want to capture, we surround it. The bird doesn't really know what to do, kind of stands still, and we're able to get within three or four feet of it. And then we have these long hooks, kind of like a shepherd's crook, that we just um, can hook around the bird and pull it towards us and then basically give the bird a big hug. So we spent a lot of time in the beginning deploying tags, getting a flipper measurement, getting a blood sample if possible, and if they've got a transmitter on them. So we have an antenna and we can scan, and when it goes boop, 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 <laughs> we know we have a penguin. We capture these devices from the backs of these penguins. We download the data and it allows us to do really interesting things such as know where the penguins go while they're at sea. Whether it was standing, if it was swimming, we're actually able to count how many strokes the penguin took on its journey. It's pretty, pretty incredible. The work is very rewarding. It's new information. We didn't know it before. Certainly as a polar species, they're gonna be some of the first that will be affected by climate change. They show up at the breeding season and the ice isn't there, so they have nowhere to breed. So that probably is going to be happening more and more frequently where we're going to be losing chicks just due to ice going away. Some of the best things you can do is just reduce your carbon footprint. And just caring about biodiversity is important and protecting that biodiversity. And penguins, especially these penguins, are sentinels of change. They're sort of the canaries in the coal mine. 